Hello, beloved of God. I welcome you today to another edition of the Open Heaven Reflection, a daily devotional taken from the Open Heavens Devotion, written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Raphael Ulurotin. I'm the pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Living Spring Center in Tottenham, London. And the topic before us today is Divine Support System, Part 1. Divine Support System, Part 1. And the Bible passage is taken from Psalm 91, verse 10 to 13. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample under feet. Memory verse is Psalm 91 verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. What an awesome promise from the Almighty God. Reflections. I'm always amazed when the President of the United States of America travels, the number of security personnel that are drafted into the host country to do the speed work before his arrival is stunning. Anywhere he travels to, the security is always very tight. Similarly, when you see a prince or princess, the compliments of security duties you find around them, even when they are plain clothes, will let you know that they are not just ordinary people. That is how God makes our personal bodyguards to be on duty 24-7 to watch over us. From the passage we read a moment ago, the Bible says no evil will ever befall us because God will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. These promises are refreshing. They are called ministry angels. They are not just there as decoration, but their job is to keep charge over us so that nothing can by any means hurt us. Pastor Adeboe shared an incredible testimony of a brother in a plane with us in the Open Heaven Daily Guide today. While they were airborne, the first two engines of the plane suddenly stopped working and the pilot panicked and warned the passengers that if the third engine followed suit, the plane was going to crash. The third engine stopped working, and in that state of panic, the brother looked out through the window and saw a big angel smiling at him and whispering to him that he was carrying the plane. About an hour later, the plane managed to land safely at the nearest airport. Nobody could explain how a plane with no functional engine could have landed safely. The brother saw three angels who literally landed the plane safely and it was only the brother who knew what was happening. That is an amazing testimony of the faithfulness of the Lord to his word. If that marvels you, you can remember how Daniel was saved from the mouth of the lion. An angel went ahead of him to stop the mouth of the lion. The devil is equally aware of this fact and that was why he reminded Jesus when he was tempted that the Lord will make his angel to watch over him and he will not dash his foot against the stone. Agreeably, he was quoting that for the wrong purpose, but that does not change it from being a statement of fact. From this season, you shall receive the full complement of the support system of your Father in heaven in Jesus' name. Prayer points. Father, let the ministry angels be more real to me and my family and all my relations from now on in Jesus' name. Amen. Go your way today and all the days of your life with the consciousness of God's presence over your life. God bless you. Bye.